Excuse me? Ah, uh, please don't freak out. I promise you I'm harmless. You see, I slept through my stop. I'm kinda lost. If you'll be so kind, could you please give me some direction, sir? Yeah, you noticed. But I guess it's obvious, silly me. Um, I'm not a normal harpy. I was adopted by human parents. Because of that, I grew up in the capital, living a human life. As for why I'm here, sir, I was hoping to explore outside the main city and possibly meet my kind. As strange as it might sound, I never met another harpy. I'm not too far from a harpy, but you don't think it's a good idea for me to go. Why is that? Harpies are dangerous? I never knew that. I have done research about harpies. I know it's normal for my kind to live in the mountain or the jungle, which is why I came here. I also know they live in a small groups of 5 to 10, but other than that, I don't know much else, besides the fact they don't like city. Oh, goodness me, I'm so clueless. I should have done more research. What? You say they rob people too? Oh my, what if they see me and try to rob me? Why is this important to me even though I live such a comfortable life in the capital, you say? Well, while the capital is nice, there are some things that I just can't adapt to. For example, I don't really have hands. I can kinda use my feathers as hand if I angle it right, but even then, Holding things has always been a challenge. Every single one of my friends call me a claws and teases me. I also don't even know how to properly use my wings. Mother said flying is far too dangerous, so I had to practice in secret. <sighs> Imagine having wings and not even knowing how to use them. My friends also teases me for that too. I feel like... I feel like being a human and... And being a harpy. So I was hoping if I snuck out to meet other harpies, maybe I'll understand myself better. Well, yeah, I was thinking at first that maybe I should go with someone, but all my friends are female, and they are not exactly up for adventure. You know, the normal pimper girls who wouldn't dare think about going out, so my only option was really going by myself. Besides, it's not like I could ask my family guards to come with me. They would have never allowed me to leave if I told them my idea. Who are my parents? Oh, I think they are. And my mother is a duchess and my father is a duke. That is not a big deal, right? I know we have a lot of money, but isn't that normal? If you live in a city, don't all city girls have guards? I should go home? But, but I came all this way, and I was really excited to meet other harpies. Nervous, yes, but excited. I lived my life in my parents' house, and I was only allowed to go when the guards had free time to go with me, or when we were visiting my friends. I have never seen anything outside of my house. I'm too important to get hurt? I don't understand. Why would people be in trouble if I got hurt? I'm just a normal girl. Granted, I guess being a harpy that adopted by humans is not very normal, but... I'm normal. Nobody special. My parents are famous? Are you saying you know exactly who I am? Huh, how strange. I've never done anything important. Why will people know who I am? Are all people outside the city so strange? And while it's very kind of you to offer me to find my way home, sir, I much rather find the nearest Harbi camp. I am sorry, sir. I've thanked you for your help so far, but... I refuse to go home until I meet at least a single hobby and ask my question. You are a normal human, 
with human arms and feet. You never understand what it's like to be me. I know I live a privileged life, but my feet have talons. Normal shoes don't fit me. I can't carry things like normal people. Everything I wear has to be specially fitted for me. It's frustrating. And my parents never answer any of my questions about where I really came from. What? You... Oh, thank you. Thank you, truly. Honestly, when you were saying I should go home, I was really starting to think you were going to make me go back. I really wouldn't like that. But if you're going to take me, I'm positive everything will go great. You know you won't regret it. When my father finds out, I'm positive he'll give you a present. Father always give people presents when they are so nice to us. Oh, is that father's? Huh? Why? Why are we hiding? Those are my father's servants. They probably just want to say hi. Force me to go back? Huh? You're right. I told no one I was going out today. Oh no. Mother must be so furious. Maybe I should just go back now. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I remember how mean she is to the gods every time I get hurt. She can be very scary to other people. <sighs> I'm leaving now, sir. It was nice meeting you. Huh? Sir? Um... If you don't let go of me, I can't leave, sir. You want to go with me to see Harpies? I am... Uh... <laughs> You're so kind and noble. Almost like those heroes in fairy tales Mama read to me. I... Okay, I have an idea. Guards? Guards? I'm over here. I'm really sorry for causing trouble. I'm, uh, I got lost and went on my walks. And then this nice man found me and was trying to explain to me how to find my way back. So if possible, I'd like to introduce him to Papa for a reward. No, 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 guards. He's not a kidnapper, I promise. Um, truth is, I read a book talking about trains. And then I remember I never been on the train, and I really wanted to try it. So when nobody was looking, I snuck out and, and this thing I knew, I was here. <laughs> train is so fascinating. You guys should try it one day. <laughs> Honest truth. Peasant? He's no peasant. He's one of the best traveling merchants there is. I was walking cluelessly, and when everyone ignored me, he was the only person who tried to help me. If he didn't help me, maybe I wouldn't been kidnapped by now. Punish the people who ignored me? Stop saying things like that, guards. Not everyone is a bad guy. They were probably just scared of me. Besides, Mr. Merchant was so nice to me. Then I didn't even feel scared or lonely anymore. <laughs> there, Mr. Grab Captain can be kinda scary, but he's nice deep down. Well, sir, Papa and Mama will be so happy with you for protecting me. And um, maybe we can even convince them to let you take me on adventures. Like, meeting harpies? If you like, of course. You would? This is wonderful! <laughs> Thank you, truly. Thank you for everything today. Now, come to my home. I would like you to see my town. I'm sure that I can convince my parents to let you stay there for a while. You know? So, we can like... Hang out more. 